What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here's my fantasy football advice for NFL Week 5. Sleepers and studs! This fantasy football advice is for informational purposes only. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you a sleeper and a stud for each position. And if you stay to the very end after all my picks and after I show you the Draft Dashboard tools, I'll give you my super secret sleeper pick that no one's talking about. At quarterback! I like Matt Ryan, once again with a stellar matchup versus a terrible Pittsburgh Steelers defense who gives up the third most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. I feel like I'm picking Matt Ryan every week. His salary has rose up quite a bit, but deservingly so. Matt Ryan has scored 32, 43, and 32 fantasy points in the last three weeks. He has not disappointed anyone who played him, and now Matt Ryan finds himself in another great matchup versus the Steelers. This game is on the road, but Matt Ryan has all the offensive weapons to move the ball down the field and put points on the board. Okay, now for a low salary quarterback that may fly under the radar. I like Derek Carr, who's been improving week by week, scoring 16, then 19, then 37 fantasy points last game. Derek Carr has a decent matchup versus the Chargers, who have given up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. I like Derek Carr in Week 5 because I think he'll be forced to throw the ball all game long to keep up with the high-powered Chargers offense. Game script is important to consider, and I think there is little doubt that the Oakland Raiders will be playing from behind in this game. Look for Derek Carr to be throwing the deep ball all game long. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL, MLB is still going, NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Okay, let's take a look at running backs. My stud running back this week is Melvin Gordon. Speaking of the Chargers, Melvin Gordon has a fantastic matchup versus a weak Oakland Raiders defense that has given up the six most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Melvin has scored 31, 16, and 34 fantasy points the last game. Amazing production from one of the top running backs in the league. He can catch passes out of the backfield targeted 10 times last game. The receiving yards add up and gives Melvin Gordon multiple ways to score. I do expect Chargers to get up big over the Oakland Raiders and that would leave Melvin Gordon with a lot of work and big potential for a huge game. Now for a low salary running back. I like Austin Eckler and I do think he's playable with Melvin Gordon in week 5. Melvin Gordon and Austin Eckler would be a great way to go. Eckler has scored 13, 9, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games. Still has a low salary and is getting double digit touches. You also get some insurance when you couple the two backs because if Melvin Gordon gets you 25 and then gets rested because the Chargers are blowing out the Raiders, now you feed off the fantasy points from Austin Eckler. I don't normally recommend this, but I think this is a viable strategy for week five. Okay, who do we have at wide receiver? I have to go with Julio Jones as my stud wide receiver for week five. With the emergence of Calvin Ridley, it's going to be real tough for a weak Pittsburgh defense who is third worst overall defense in the league and gives up the second most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Now of course, you can make a case for Antonio Brown. It's between these two guys. They could both go off and have huge games. Julio Jones has scored 11, 15, and then 29 fantasy points in the last game with 9, 6, and 12 targets last game. If you play Matt Ryan in week 5, you almost have to pair him up with Julio Jones in this matchup. You can find savings elsewhere to fit them in. For my wide receiver sleeper pick, I like Willie Sneed for Baltimore Ravens facing the Cleveland Browns who just lost one of their top cornerbacks, Terrence Mitchell, to a wrist injury. If Mitchell is out, look for Willie Sneed to surprise some people versus a Browns defense that already gives up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Sneed has been quite involved with the Ravens passing attack, getting 8, 5, and then 7 targets in the last 3 games, scoring 10, 7, and 12 fantasy points. I feel like Sneed could have a breakout game in week 5 as the Browns defensive injuries continue to mount. My week 5 tight end stud is Zach Ertz. With Carson Wentz back for 2 games, 
and already in the swing of things, it showed immediately as Wentz went to Ertz 14 times last game, producing 24 fantasy points. The Wentz to Ertz connection is back, and Ertz has a pretty good matchup versus the Vikings defense that has shown to have some holes in it. I like Ertz because Kelsey has a bad matchup in week 5, and Gronk is always injured. This leaves Zach Ertz as my clear cut stud at tight end. If you need a low price tight end, take a look at Austin Hooper. I feel like I'm picking this guy every week and he hasn't really done much yet. 17, then 7, and then only 3 fantasy points last week. This was one of my duds. Austin Hooper really hurt anyone who played him last week, so we know ownership will be lower than ever on Austin Hooper this week. Have to have a short memory, and in week 5, Austin Hooper has a fantastic matchup, facing the third worst defense overall in the Pittsburgh Steelers, who give up the second most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. If you're playing Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, this is an interesting stack with Austin Hooper that opens up your options at other positions. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You've unlocked the bonus content. My week five super secret sleeper pick is Martavius Bryant. No one will be playing Martavius Bryant. He's only scored 7, 5, and 8 fantasy points in the last 3 games. Yet to hit double digits, but he's creeping up there. And he's got 4, then 5, then 7 targets last game. So the opportunity to score is there. And this is the game Oakland versus the Chargers, where I think the Raiders will be playing from behind. I know I've picked a lot of players from this game. I don't recommend playing them all. I just think this is going to be a high scoring game. And it's quite possible for Martavius Bryant who is a real talented wide receiver, can connect with a deep ball from Derek Carr. You could stack Martavius Bryant with Derek Carr and then maybe Amari Cooper. Lots of ways to go in week five. This is just a first look at each position. We will be doing a new video every day for NFL. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Please smiggity smash that like button. It helps us bring you this free information. Until next time guys, thanks again.